So I had a few people ask about what software that I used to record, and also specifically what software I used to make drum sounds. And uh, so I'm going to tell you what they are, and then I'm going to give you some tips regarding software in general um, after that. So I use a piece of software called Logic Pro to do all the recording and mixing. Um, within Logic Pro, there's a couple plugins I use for drum sounds. Um, when it comes to real drums, I use a plugin called Addictive Drums. That was one that I paid for. Um, so anything that wants to sound like a real drum kit, um, it gives me just some different kits I can use and different, um, I can swap in different toms, whatever. It's got some pretty nice samples from actual real drum kits. Um, so I like that one a lot. When it comes to electronic sounding drums, I've actually been really happy with the uh, stock plugins and sounds that come with Logic. So um, there's a plugin called Ultrabeat in Logic that comes with um, a bunch of different electronic drum kits, and um, I've found those to be quite usable, and I've found them to sound pretty good in some of the songs that I've done. So, uh, but regarding these types of plugins and software in general, um, I would really encourage you guys to explore what comes with the software before you say, um, you know, oh, I'm going to go out and spend a couple hundred bucks on this, uh, whatever. Before you spend any more money, you should know how to use what comes with your software. You should know how it works, how it sounds, and uh, you should only really look at buying something to supplement it uh, when you are fully aware of the deficiency um, that comes with the stock software. So for me, you know, I wanted a little bit better real sounding drum kit than what came with Logic. So that's why I invested in Addictive Drums. But I didn't do that until I had played around a lot with um, the electronic drum kits and the real drum kits that come with Logic um, and figured out that I wanted a little better quality. So, um, you know, I'm really serious about this. You don't, you don't need to spend a whole lot of money to get good sounds. You just need to learn how to use what comes with the software that you're using. Um, it'll just help you overall, it'll save you money, it'll make you a better uh, you know, mixer or audio engineer to, to understand how to use those tools and make them sound good. So uh, I just really encourage you guys with that experiment, it'll make your music better in the long run, it'll make you better at making music in the long run. So um, yeah, that's that, I really encourage you guys to, to learn the tools that come with that software.